joined on the program by a star who certainly got the nation circuits all wired up. Comic timing, boundless energy and lots and lots and lots of talent. And please welcome Arshad Varsi joining us now on the program. Arshad Varsi. Okay, that's it. Yes. Thank you. Now, before we, before we unleash, before we unleash Cyrus upon yeah, you, yeah. let's just do some, let's just do some serious please, thinking about please, the environment. Please. I know you were really into the environment at one point. You were really worried about it. You used to really get sleepless nights about <laughs> yeah. global I, warming and stuff like that. How, how, how serious do you think it is? I, I think it's a huge problem. It's a huge problem. The first time I, I got the fright of my life, honestly, is when uh, I went to Goa. And there was a beautiful beach there, uh, Guada, uh, where I used to go there. I've been going there for the last 20 years. And uh, go and check it, it doesn't exist anymore. So there is no beach. The water's come up. So, yeah, it is, it is scary. It's, it's really scary. Um, about you believe the cycles, doomsday scenarios that are being painted that you I could actually so. have glaciers melting? Yes, yes. 60 million people in India going without 100%. water, rivers drying up, all of that 100 percent. Yes, if we don't stop, yes it will. It's just simple. I mean, um, water is going to get hotter, it is going to expand, the glaciers are melting, uh, it's just getting bad to us. And, and we, are, we, are so, we are no one. One little wave and we are done. We are through. We quite often say, it's not our fault. Global warming That's is not our fault. Somebody else did it. But maybe we should take no. the lead in, in, in cutting down on carbon emissions yeah, and maybe yeah. shame no, the rest of the world. You cannot blame anybody else. It's, it's your fault. Each one of us is responsible, including me, including the man who probably talks about environment, everybody. I think if we really look into ourselves, somewhere down we get up in the morning, yes, we are doing something wrong all the time. I'll tell you one little thing that I do whatever, I go to my office on a cycle. I try and use a cycle as much as I can. I've got a lovely folding cycle that goes and carry it with me upstairs. So it's, I would say, like Bangalore had started, you know, they had little tracks of cycle. I think, I don't know, why don't they have that in every city? A lovely little track. Yes, we have a problem with the heat and all that. Something, I mean, it'll but, work. But, Ashir, if you're shooting in Delhi, for example, yeah. and you're in Mumbai, would you still take the cycle? Yeah, that depends if I have that much of dates and if I have no time. Oh, don't answer the question. I'm just I will guy. take you. <laughs> you need a driver for the cycle. Fair enough. I can understand that. Yeah, it's not, we're not see, that, really see, ready right now for see, that, the that's, cycling. That's why I said folding cycle. <laughs> I carry it with a me. Folding cycle. Carry it in the back of the car. Carry it back of the car. Put it in the air car. You know, we've been discussing this entire thing about global warming. It's a long, long time. Who's for yeah. it? Gandhi Giri for that. Tell the rich countries, we will be the first to take the lead in that. Is that something you tell the Indian politicians? I think so, but I think also, like you said, it's just not a local issue, so let's not get competitive. I don't want to fight but with India anybody over it. We are still not as bad as probably US and... We're not as bad as that's the US. Because many people, that's, that's many people, point. Many people can't afford a car. That's a good that point. Maybe we are forced to be good. Yeah, you're forced to be good. <laughs> just forced to be and good. many people can't afford to eat yeah, or there is no electricity. electricity. Fair there is no electricity. So in a way, our negative is also a positive. positive. I like the way you're thinking. I know. Vikram, you're losing us. If I can just <laughs> back in at this point. We do have a caller standing by, Divya, yeah. calling in from, from Kolkata. Divya, you have a comment, question for Arshad? Uh, yeah, hi. I just wanted to ask, like, uh, Arshad, since you must have been all over the world, uh, which place do you think is most environmentally friendly or green? And what do you think India needs to do to get there? Uh, which place is a little difficult to say because there are, I mean... Uh, where all have you been? America? No, yeah, where? South, South uh, Asia? See, there's a small, small little um, um, uh, kind of a national park which is about three hours drive from uh, Frisco, which is called Yosemite. Uh, that place by itself is very good. They don't allow you smoking. They use natural light. It's absolutely green, and they are very particular about it. Uh, I think I'm not, I, I'm, I may not be very good at it, but I think if I'm not wrong, Norway is also another place that is quite good with all these things. Uh, what we should do is uh, uh, start simple things. Yeah, Electricity means a lot. Um, uh, cars mean a lot. I think uh, if you if you uh, if you can share share a transport, it helps. Uh, if you can use less of cars, it helps. Uh, try and use natural light, that helps. Um, uh, yeah. I so, don't basically, know. so basically, so basically, what you're saying is all of us, and we've been talking about this for for a while now. Take the green pledge, and that that I think is what this greenathon is all Get about. Get serious about it, because you will die. 
You are going to die. You're going to take the green pledge right now? Yeah. I will, I will physically go out from tomorrow and try and make a difference. Damn, I will. I'll... All right, he's taking the pledge. Got are you to. taking the pledge out there? Got to take do Take the it. pledge right now. Make a difference in your own life. You'll be surprised yeah. at how that Gandhi game goes I want, I want goes a better out. world for my child. All do right. it. And I want a better do world it. for your child as well. Because right. I don't like my child. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, you take it. what we're going to get you to do is, we're going to get you to sign this lamp. That's it, I don't get it. Because this is what we're auctioning. Auctioning? Uh, I think this is a very... Uh, Sign it down there, we're going to auction Poignant this. moment. Arshad, it's uh, 25 rupees for the lamp. But whenever you want to, it's no harm. You can check after my, after my autograph, is 5 rupees. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And remember, this and all other such lamps are being auctioned on NDTV.com. Just log on, you can bid for these lamps. And that money, of course, will also go to Terry's Light a Billion Lives campaign, which is what this is all about. And we're going to continue to try and... And if you're lonely and you feel socially awkward, remember, walk around with this and the girls love it. Am I right, Arshad? I'm sure, I'm sure. Ladies, just absolutely follow you. I've, I've, I've noticed a difference. I want two of them. Two? I... Ladies or...? <laughs> oh, Arshad, yeah. you're going off to perform right now. You want to give yeah. us any sneak ideas as to what you're going to be performing I, I don't know. I know one thing. I'm going to enjoy myself and, uh, and get beaten up and thrown. I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. Because I haven't really rehearsed a lot. So... Don't kill me and don't hate me if I'm not no very good. No one's going to kill you. No one's going to hate you, Arshad. Thank you so much for Pleasure. coming and joining Pleasure. us. Pleasure. And after the break, Arshad all set to rock on the dance floor. Keep watching.